Hello there, I'm Andy Sanderson. I'm about a quarter of a mile from Barmouth Town Centre at the end of King Edward Street here. I love springing these little surprises on you. So if you're looking for something a little bit unique with a great sea view, but still close to the countryside, let's get up these steps. We'll go and have a look. And don't forget, there's gonna be a bonus here at the end of this as well. Now listen to the seagulls here, it's quite a high cup here, but it's worth it once you get to the top. 364, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. It's a long way up here, but look at the view we've got now. Here it is, the gate to the front garden, and what a lovely outlook it is. I can see the beach and the sea, Lynn Peninsula over there. There's the playing fields, the football ground, everything's in sight here. Now it's absolutely lovely sitting up here in the sunshine looking out over the beach to the sea. Even the seagulls have quietened down. There is another entrance to this house out the back which I'll show you towards the end. It's quite interesting because you enter it on the, on the first floor. But let's go in on this level and we'll show you around. Well here's the first nice feature. This UPVC double glazed stable door means that you can enjoy the fresh air and the views even better from the lounge here. Not only have you got the sound of seagulls in the background nearly all the time to remind you that you're by the beach here, but the, this colour scheme of uh, sea blue is throughout the cottage from top to bottom. I love it. Now the cottage has got the simplicity of electric storage heaters here. From the lounge, this door opens and takes you to the staircase. And then we've got the kitchen out the back here. Up on the first floor here, there's lovely sanded floorboards. And both the bedrooms are at the front, so they've both got sea views. This is the bathroom that's also off the landing and it's got a shower over the bath. Now there's also this additional room off the landing which has served as an occasional bedroom in the past but it's actually like a rear entrance hall because this is the back door. I'll show you where that goes later. Here's another big bonus though. These steps lead you up to an attic room. Now I'm sure this room's got quite a lot of versatility for whatever you want to use it for, but one thing's for certain, the view from here is fantastic, whichever way you look at it. This is fourth guest vecon that brings you up to the back of the cottage. It's quite pretty up the back here, and these steps take you down across a little bridge to the back door. So there you are, I did mean it when I said it was unusual. I want to just walk up here 150 yards or so just to show you what the scenery's like. So here we are, probably about 100 yards or so from the back door of the cottage. We're up the top of the lane here. On my right, this bridleway takes you up into the hills and mountains. Behind me, you've got a view of the beach. And down the hill here, you're in Barmouth Town Centre within a couple of three minutes or so. So the situation here is something else really. A lot of seagulls above my head. Um, the other thing was that I did promise you there's going to be a bonus at the end of this video. Well, the bonus is that the owners of this cottage have been using this garage for the past 16 years, and that will be part, the keys to this will be passed on to you as well. You won't get the freehold, but it looks like you will be able to get the use of it. So that does give you some parking solution. In the meantime, follow the link that's coming up um, to watch my short video about Barmouth. And also click the link, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then you'll get further property updates and more information from me in the future. So thanks very much for watching. I'm Andy Sanderson, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye for now.